Hi, it's really a challenge to find the best products that can be deserving of your hard-earned money. It may be easier when you have a reliable source like our channel. Actually, our team reviewed a lot of products, analyzed endless reviews from the actual users, and made our rankings based on many factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and the reputation of the manufacturer. If you choose from this list, you can be sure that you're buying one of the best products. You can see their latest prices and find out more information about these products by using the links below in the description. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Are you looking for the best survival knives in your budget? Well, in today's video we break down the top 5 best best survival knives that are available on the market. Starting at number 5, we have the Gerber Strongarm Knife. With nearly 5 inches of ceramic coated 420HC steel, full tank construction, and a rock solid grip, the Gerber Strongarm one of the best survival knives available in any class or price point. The Strongarm is one of Gerber's USA made knives, forged with a proven 420HC steel. While this may seem like a basic choice for a survival blade, we've found its edge retention and toughness to be more than adequate for extended use. And when it does come time to sharpen, the blade pops back to life with surprising eagerness. There's a premium model available in BDZ1 steel, which slightly boosts the knife's overall performance. We're happy with the 420HC version, but it's nice to know the upgrade is out there. Let's talk handles because the Strongarm has a great one. This Gerber features a rubberized diamond pattern that manages to be both grippy and incredibly comfortable. The knife ends with a slightly spiked pommel and lanyard hole, adding an option for some light hammering or striking. Speaking of options, the Strongarm's sheath is loaded with them. Per Gerber's website, the multi-mount, snap-together sheath is easy to use and can be mounted vertically on maul, horizontally on a belt, or in traditional drop-leg fashion. Retention is good, and the knife is generally comfortable on the hip. That said, the plastic does feel a bit cheap. Moving on at number 4, we have the SC Laser Strike. Few knives have a survival pedigree that can match the laser strike. Originally manufactured by Topps in 2000, this 1095 high carbon bruiser has seen use all around the globe. With its powder coated 4.75 inch blade measuring 0.188 inches across the shoulders, it's a medium sized knife capable of outshining some fixed blades twice its size. Beyond its outstanding edge, SC added several features to the classic iteration. First, the brand swapped in micarta scales to cover its 5.25-inch handle. These include a bow drill divot, allowing the knife to act as the top half of a primitive kindling rig. But if you're in more desperate need of a fire, users can use the attached lanyard washer to remove the flathead screws holding the scales in place. Nestled against the interior steel are a ferrosium flint and a pair of tinder tabs, perfect for sparking a flame in a variety of circumstances. Now that we've covered the laser portion of its name, let's get to the strike. Despite weighing in at just over half a pound, 9.5 ounces, this SC is a devastating chopper. We've hacked and batoned logs that should have broken the laser strike in two. Then we handed it to friends and asked them to give it a try. At number 3, we have the Woodman's Pal Multi-Use Axe Machete. The Woodman's Pal, which has been made in Pennsylvania since 1941, is more of a machete than a knife. But it's more than a machete overall. In fact, this multifunction survival tool has been so well thought out that it could be adapted to such tasks as trail clearing, fire prep, and even shelter building. But, the Woodman's Pal also excels at self-defense. It's the one tool on this list that we say has been used by American soldiers in war. In testing, we stuck to what we knew and found that the Woodman's Pal was terrific in getting to camp as well as when we got to camp. The main blade on the tool is great for chopping, splitting, and trimming. This makes the Woodman's Pal awesome for prepping anything from kindling to larger pieces of wood for fire. It was also great for trimming back some of the brush on the trails that had either grown in or fallen throughout the fall. The sickle hook on the back of the tool was great for shaving, pulling, pruning, and cutting. This came in handy when we needed to make tinder bundles for our fires, but also for pulling down prickers and vines that invaded the trail over the summer. But the Woodman's Pal isn't just about pure raw aggression, processing, and demolishing. It's also got quite a bit of safety baked into it. 
Take the leather banded handle that's surrounded by a steel handguard. The leather conditions to a point where your hand wouldn't slip from it unless you let go. The handguard keeps your knuckles safe while you're slashing and chopping. At number 2, we have the Moroknev Kansbol Fixed Blade Knife. Moroknev is a Swedish knife brand that has become synonymous with durable and affordable all over the world. They have found a way to mix the right materials with the right aesthetics and ergonomics to create knives that can be used and abused in a variety of outdoor environments without costing an arm and a leg. For 2024, we tested their Moroknev Kansbol, $56, and can honestly say that you're getting a very effective knife for a very nice price. Like all of Mora's outdoor knives, the Kansbol is made from 12C27 stainless steel. This is a Swedish steel that's been relied on for more than half a century without any need for improvement. Being stainless, 12C27 has a high corrosion resistance, but it also features abrasion resistance and a toughness that comes in handy when cutting through wood and meat. Regarding cutting, chopping, slicing, and the like, 12C27 holds a sharp edge for a good while, but can easily be resharpened to a razor's edge like when it was fresh from the factory. The Kansbol has the additional benefit of a tapered grind, which allows for easier piercing, slicing, and processing. The textured handle of the Kansbol seals the blade in place and helps keep the knife light and easy to maneuver. Its soft friction grip allows the knife to remain comfortable in your hand for prolonged periods of time. Additionally, the polymer material keeps a reliable grip whether your hand is wet or dry. And finally at number 1. We have the Mossy Oak Survival Knife. Good knives don't come cheap. It can be difficult to justify spending hundreds on a knife that you may only use in certain scenarios a few times a year. The Mossy Oak Survival Knife is a 10-inch oversized Bowie-style knife that costs less than $30, which is an amazing value proposition for survivalists on a budget. The stainless steel blade features a black finish that's reasonably sharp right out of the box, and comes with a small field sharpening steel. The long, thick blade is great for machete-style chopping, digging, and prying. Despite the fine clip point, you'll still want to carry a smaller knife for more delicate tasks, though. Given the low price, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that the knife isn't as durable as my other, more expensive picks. It's not a full tang knife, the blade steel stops at the rubber handle, so the junction of blade and handle is a weak point. Likewise, the clip point design is susceptible to breaking, despite the overall thickness of 5 30 seconds of an inch. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make a sure like, comment, subscribe.